hello everyone welcome once again to my youtube channel my name is convivial if today not the first time we did come across this channel i better try subscribe like and share ciao a tutti mi chiamo convivial e questo è il mio canale seguitemi commentate e condividete grazie okay guys what do you want to do today today we'll do important thing will be you don't think we will suppose you will do this one self <laughs> okay what you would do singular and plural okay to do singular and plural before i even go into the main topic guys now now when i you know before i started to teach italian if people they tell me say how ah, this language too hard i go say ah waiting hard here oh italian not hard though now because say, i come here early now i make it be say it can't be like say that time you know hard now when i come to teach i can't really they see like the difficulty where people they really get you know easy more than not give up me i don't go give up on una so una don't go feel give up on me okay until we learn this language today we want to talk about singular and plural this one is still hard small what can be the two things we will need to consider if we talk about singular and plural we need to consider uh, numbers and we need to consider gender why we need to consider number because i tell you say we they talk about singular and plural because if some if we they talk about singular it means say that thing now one or that person now one but if we talk about plural you don't be more than one thing you don't be more than one person so now make uh numbers they important then gender aspect <laughs> i don't say that you don't come again with this gender yes I don't come again. Gender still did this one. Many things for Italian language that they consider gender. Wait, wait. We need to know whether na uh, masculine be the thing or whether na feminine. It don't be like English. Maybe uh, for instance now, nah, if uh, would they talk about one car, then if they come to talk about two cars, na s na we we'll just put for the car. No, this one that they consider gender. Na so it's a low language. Be a low language. It they difficult. I understand now. Okay. Okay, maybe we dive in into the uh, main lesson. As we talk, uh, we need to consider whether the thing where you talk about na uh, masculine or na feminine. Then any thing where you finish with a generally na feminine. Hmm? A it means a for Italian language. Hmm? And a plural na go come finish with e, which is a for Italian language. For instance, pain. If you can't reach one, now be pain. Hmm? But if you don't pass one, now if you don't pass one pen, it go come be pain. Then generally, anything we finish with o, which is o for English, now masculine. Okay. For instance, quaderno. But if you don't pass one, it can be quaderni. Okay. Anyone will finish with o. The plural need to be I. Anyone will finish with A, the plural need to be E. But another thing can they again now nah, will be some nouns if you finish with E. And you know me say whether uh, it must be uh, feminine or it must be masculine. No. Both masculine and feminine, they if you finish with E. Hmm? For instance, a balcone. What can be? It be masculine, but it finish with e. Okay, la luce. Hmm. It be luce light. La luce na feminine, but it still finish with e. So both masculine and feminine, they fit get now we finish with e. Okay, and their plural they always be i. Luce, you go turn to luci. Hmm. Balcone, you go turn to balcone. Okay, now so it the day. Okay, maybe we'll do them again now. Anything we finish with a generally, the plural will be e. Anything we finish with o generally, the plural, plural, <laughs> plural, the plural will be i. Anything we finish with e, the plural it will still be i. And if it be masculine or feminine, okay, okay. As I don't tell you, Nana, for Nana, Tata, na masculine or na feminine, and waiting is supposed to be the plural form of Tata. Tata, na feminine, and if you don't reach plural, you can be Tate. Okay. Then if I tell you il tavolo, 
What do you mean tavolo? No be table. Na singular. But if you can go plural now, for now, what do you come become? Come be tavoli. This one are generally. Now, so it did happen generally, but now, no say for Italo language, general form be, but later, the form will continue to destroy your brain, then inside will be in regular forms for the same thing. Okay, but generally, now, so it did function. I need to still talk another important thing. Will be things will be said they finish with accent. For instance, cafe. Accent did the last letter. So, for plural, it no go change. Another one, uh, uh, chita. The last letter, it get accent. So for plural, it no go change. Chita, even na, even if na one na chita, if na two, if na hundred na si chita. Hmm? Chita na city. Then another one, uh, universita. Universita, na si da last letter, you still get accent. So, you don't go ever change. Singular, it go be the same. Plural, it go still be the same. Okay. Now, so, Italo language day. I know so you're not going to talk. Say, ha, this language now, wow. Now, so we see how my brothers and sisters. So, and another important one. Things where be said, they get um, foreign names. For Italo, they don't they change for plural. For instance, computer. Computer, not be... Uh, if Italo, if we have pronounced of Italian language, we will say computer. Hmm? But if English people now they call a computer, but you know they change for plural. Okay. Even reception. We you know say here that they always they use reception. Hmm? For plural, you know go still change. Now still reception. Why? Why? Because no be na foreign word, no be Italo word. So you need to remain the same. Other irregular forms they. Hmm? We be say uh, for the uh, parts of our body, hmm? you know they really follow the rules of uh, singular and plural. That general rule when I tell you now. For instance, now for instance, man, no, not be old man or finish, but na feminine. So you know they always they go like that. Generally, now so it the day that first one when I tell you now. Anything we finish with a for plural, it can be e. Anything we finish with o for plural, it can be i. Anything we finish with e for plural, it can be i. That one are general. But this one now, uh, for some parts of our body, you know, rhyme with that general rule. Okay? La mano, le mani. That one, even though it finish with O, na feminine. Okay? Okay. For instance, now, another one we see they confusing now, uh, il braccio. But if you come come plural now, uh, it come be le braccia. Il ginocchio. If you come come plural now, uh, it come be ginocchia. L'orecchio. If you come come plural, uh, it come be orecchie. So all this one now, uh, irregular forms with the day inside. Um, another important one and uh, be warm. As you finish with O, oh, maybe you go to say now for plural, it can be uh, warm. No. The plural na warm. Now so uh, singular and plural day. Okay now. Mona do this work for me for a uh, comment session. Said ya. What it can be um, a plural form? Hmm? What you know, say it go be a plural form of said, yeah. Uh, lavatrice. What you know, say it go be the plural form of lavatrice. Okay. Mona, do that one for me for conversation. Now, let's why I give you nice, this simple now. Okay, guys, until the next one. Mona, remember to follow me for Facebook. Now, still the exact same name. Learning Italian with Combi. Okay. Uh, we did do live there from 4 to 5 on Saturdays from 5 to 6 for Zoom the same saturday okay stay blessed and thank you for the support and love bye bye until the next one ciao